Come on, Christian. Come on, get it right. family welcome to the video uh, Nikki and I are about to head out everyone's going to lunch right now there's Tim Nikki and I are going to pick up Knox because she has a consultation today rocking a, a Zara t-shirt the one I got last night that I should be saving for Saturday but I'm gonna wear it today anyway uh, I've got the blue athlete sample pants just got these in the pants are gonna be coming in a black, charcoal, black with white accent, charcoal with black accent, and then this really, really nice blue with lime green inside and white accent. Got the panels cuts at the bottom. So, gonna go get Knox. I'm starving, so I wanna pick up some lunch on the way. Two spicy chicken sandwiches with no pickles, a grilled chicken cool wrap. What kind of dressing? With the Italian, no, no fat Italian. And then one grilled chicken sandwich. My pleasure. Order like a pro. Part one of the meal is going to be a grilled chicken cool wrap with light Italian dressing. Macros for the whole thing, one and a half fat, three carbs. Part two of the meal is a spicy chicken sandwich with no pickles. Part three, grilled chicken sandwich with barbecue sauce. All right, made it to man's best friend. Got it as fast as she can. And then if she does the outside, she does not. Oh, there's fall. no chance. Like you have to literally like trick her and then like tackle her. It's the only way. Because she'll run forever and ever and ever. If you all want to see more footage of taking Knox to get her consultation, you can go check out the couple's channel. There will be a video uploaded over there. So we have a special guest here today. Got here a little bit before me. Let me see who opens the door. I was keeping all What's the up? creeps out. <laughs> but I let one in. <laughs> Mr. Big J. Oh, hey, what do you say, man? It's good to see you. Good to see you too, sir. Good to see you. Sorry we were... Big J and I are getting ready for battle. That's right. Now, you, Big J already trained today. Once. Just once. Just, Just once. Do the second time. Round two. Round two. So, I'm going to hit the Big J's intensity. Ama is this pina colada? Is this grape or the... It's a pina, pina colada. Pina colada. My favorite. This one literally smells incredible, guys. Cheers. Yeah. I'm gonna drink it all right now. No, you gonna sip on it? I'm gonna sip on it. I'll drink it. I'm gonna drink it all. <laughs> Party animal. Animal. <laughs> Today, Big J came by the warehouse and he brought some intensity with him, guys. He helped Daniel and I push past uh, some mental limitations that we've been having and gave us the encouragement to try something new. And I'm glad to say that we both hit some pretty big milestones and uh, I want to let you guys enjoy the rock clips. So sit back, relax, enjoy these next few clips and I'll be back with the commentary in just a few more minutes. Easy! Look at that weight. All right guys, here we're at 315. We're gonna see how it feels and then uh, we'll go from there. So that big day spot, we feel really good. Go rats, go chop, go raw. Get away. That's easy. Up. One more. Yeah. Nice. All right, family. So 315 went up really, really nicely. Uh, 365 has been my bench goal for a good amount of time now. I've been, you can ask, ask Daniel last year, I've been on that goal. I want to hit that benchmark and then sort of shift the focus. So, but until I hit that benchmark, until I can hit that 365, I can't think of anything on my push day other than hitting that goal. So, I think today's going to be the day. Let's see. To not use rats. Back when I was his age, <laughs> now i got to put a football helmet, shoulder pads, <laughs> jock strap. Gotta put it all on, man. Parts just start flying everywhere when you get to my age. <laughs> Alright, family. 365. Body weight. Mid to high 170s. So, I'm gonna try it for the first time in my life. Never, never held this weight in my hands. 
My question is, do you feel like you can do it? I feel like I can do it. Well, then he's going to do it. No failure. Let's, Let's do it. it. So you get a lift off. Yeah. Control it. Go down and explode up. Let's go now. Route 65, easy money. You mind right? Come on, get it right. How do you feel? Really good. Honestly, if, if, if I did not listen to him right now, I said to go for it. Those three reps were good to go. You were starting to doubt yourself. Now, watching this video, you're going to see me put my hands on here. I was scared. I didn't want it to go back down, but I let it go. I didn't pull on it, I promise. Hey. Good job, Thank brother. That's a way to yeah, go. I was debating on doing 345 for another acclimation set, but the 315 felt really good and just went for it. But I think if I would have done that 345, Fire myself out a little more, probably not a guy this so I think you made the wise decision. Alright. Easy feet, I've seen you splaying weight all day. Come on now, get in here, get right. Daniel's yeah, gonna try 300. Come on, Daniel, raw, come on. Don't think about it, just push it. Push it! Push it! <laughs> that was a grinder. <laughs> that was a grinder. PR day. Oh, that was a. Hit 365. Now I'm going to choose 175 pounds for as many as possible from the AMRAP set. Uh, aiming for about eight, possibly nine. I still feel really fresh because we only did one rep, so I uh, have a lot of energy. So let's hit it. All right, here we go. One, two. Look at him knocking it out. Three. Push. That's what I'm talking about. Up. More. More, don't stop. Come get on. Ten, get ten, get one more. Come on, let's go. Hey, one more, he says. Up, up, up. Are you push? <laughs> Eleven. Oh. I'd have never guessed you got five. Oh. <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right, family, so as you saw, 365 pounds for a single, followed by 275 pounds for 11 reps. Uh, here's Big J repping out 275 like it's freaking 135, like a warm-up. But um, so happy to have hit that benchmark. It's something that I've been chasing for a really long time. Uh, the 365 mark is sort of that, I feel like, a very good goal for my structure, for my size, for my frame. Um now that I've hit that bench press goal, pressing has always been my strongest point. Um, you know, a year and a half ago, I was able to do 315 for three. About six months ago, I hit a 350. Um, not too long ago, I hit a 355, and finally a 365 bench, which is, you know, 345s and 25 pound plate on each side. Here, Big J is doing 405 with one hand, <laughs> uh, or four plates uh, on his shoulder press, which is crazy. But uh, I want to now sort of shift the focus over. From the bench press so on the push days you know obviously i'm prioritizing my legs over anything but on push days i still prioritize or i've been prioritizing the bench in order to be able to hit that goal you know check it off my bucket list and then now i I've, now that that's done i feel like i can sort of move on you know i, I feel like i can focus more on my incline uh, i really want to either choose the incline dumbbell or the incline barbell movement to really become better at uh, sort of start from scratch on incline barbell I, i'm really kind of leaning towards barbell um, as I, I just want i've never really dedicated months and months to uh, incline barbell movement and i think it'd be something kind of fun to do i would start from scratch um, i'm not really strong on the incline barbell so it would be good to track the progress and everything for the channel and i think it would do great things for my physique as well so um yeah just really really happy really relieved to be able to do that and honestly don't think i could have done it if big j wasn't here you guys heard us talk about a little bit earlier if he wasn't here i would have most likely done a 345 for one rep and then tried 365 or 350 for one rep and then 365 but if i would have done that i don't know if i would have been able to hit that one rep so 
Um, just so thankful, so happy to have hit it. If you guys are not following Big J, be sure to go subscribe. Uh, I'm going to link his channel in the description box. He has some amazing content and just really intense person. But with that said, yes, he brings the intensity, but he also is so knowledgeable. He's why, you know, he's almost 50 years old. He's been through so much. Trust me when I say he's been through so much and, uh, Really great guy. So really, really great guy. Uh, after the bench, we moved on to some hammer strength shoulder press, some incline dumbbell work, some tricep push downs, and just really great workout. You know, caught up with him. It's been almost a year uh, since we have seen each other, and that was it, guys. So I think we did on the incline dumbbell here 100 for like eight or nine reps, and then tried the 110s. So I'm going to let you guys watch those few clips, and then I will talk to you all later on in this video. No, baby. Come on. Push all the way up. Oh. Today is Thursday. This morning I hung out with my brother. We went and ran a few errands, got some lunch at this new pizza place that I'm gonna take you all to very, very soon. It was incredible. It's pretty much like Chipotle, like you build your own thing, uh, but pizza. And today's his last day, so I feel like it's been sort of like a countdown on my channel um, to him leaving to New York, so it's crazy. Uh, I'm currently on my way to go get some more food. We ate around 12, 12.30, and it's about 3.30 right now. And I'm just hungry. I feel like the pizza didn't fill me up. It was a very thin crust pizza. So uh, working out in like two hours. Therefore, I want to eat something now so I'm not hungry during the workout so I can focus on the workout. <laughs> Hit 365 yesterday. Um, I was ed just editing that footage and it was just amazing. So pumped. I'm excited that I can now like sort of, you know, it's, it's done. It's checked off my uh, to-do list and now I can focus more on my incline movements and prioritizing those before any sort of bench pressing uh, or any flat benching. All right guys, so I stopped by the parents' house because they always have food in the fridge, leftovers, and I do not have any food at the town home. So this is some pasta with cheese and chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up on that plate in the microwave and this will be my pre-workout meal. Axe, holy crap. All right, driving, this is not safe, but I'm gonna switch this anyway. Holy crap. Cars literally flipped over. Oh man, hopefully everyone's all right. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, your shoes are so fresh. All right guys, hey, check this out. Check this out, check it out. Well, this is the crew. Planet Racers Oreo, we got them Oreos. All right, family, so back with the commentary, and I know that there is a lot of workout footage on this video, uh, throughout this video, so hopefully you enjoy it. And instead of talking about this workout, I wanna talk about a different topic. Uh, earlier on in the video, you heard me say how I've hit that 365 bench. That was my goal for a long time, hitting that 365 bench, and now I wanna shift over that focus to incline movements. And I don't, I'm not specifically talking about that one scenario, but I want to talk about doing things that make you happy because I, I promise you, um, if you haven't experienced this in your life yet, you will soon. Um, you're never going to have every single person support. You're never going to have every single person behind you. Um, for example, you have a passion, you know, you love Say you want to go to school for health and fitness. You want to be in this industry. Um, for example, you want to be the best trainer. You want to have clients that you change their lives. But 
your whole family, your friends, well, you know, you could go to med school, you could do, be a lawyer and, you know, be an engineer, make a little more money, but your passion is in one thing. Um, you, you will never have everyone's support, but I promise you guys that if you focus in on what you love instead of what other people recommend you to do, then you're going to be happier, you're going to progress more, and you're going to literally enjoy what you do, and it's not going to feel like work. Uh, for another example, it can be as simple as not, you know, some people are going to say, oh, well, why don't you go for a 405 bench? You have a strong pressing. You know, why don't you dedicate the next six, eight months on more bench pressing? And it's like, no, I want to build my physique. Uh, another, you know, there's so many examples in daily life or just as far, even doing something that you like and, you know, someone disagreeing with you and saying, oh, that's a stupid idea or posting on social media and having people try to bring you down for what you're doing. Uh, it's so important to stay positive, And I think that you stay positive by surrounding yourself with the right people and also by knowing what your goal is and knowing what you have to do, not what other people have to do, not what other people have to say and focus on you. Do you literally <laughs> like two words? Do you uh, don't let anyone influence you and just stay true to what you love and things are going to pay off. I promise. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, finish up this workout with some curls for the girls <laughs> and had to end on a good note. So thank you. I'll talk to you on the next video and that's it. I love y'all.